stage is officially six months today. Get the good girl waiting for her food. Stay. You stay there. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Little Miss Sage is here with me. I wanted to start off this video by telling you guys a very funny situation that happened to Miss Sage and I on our walk to... Can you not eat my hair? That happened on our walk today. So we were walking, went on our like a 45 minute walk. It was like two miles, we come back. We're literally turning the corner by our house. And she had done so good on the walk so far, right? I had her on her leash and everything. And then as we're turning the corner, out of nowhere, I heard someone yell like, come here. And then I heard like a bunch of rattling in the floor or like rumbling around. And I was like, what is that? And so I got scared because I thought it was a big dog. And I was like, oh no, she's going to get attacked. What am I gonna do? And lo and behold, <laughs> this little dog that looked like a Chihuahua slash Pomeranian came running out of someone's garage towards her, barking at her, and was like running up to try to get to her. And I was like, oh my gosh. In my head, I was like, Sage is either gonna attack this thing or the or she's gonna try to run away. Because one thing about Sage is she looks nice and tough, but girl here is scared of noises, so a lot of the times when stuff happens, she'll kind of like walk behind us or like get behind us since she's barely gonna get to six months where she gets protective. And so I was like, oh no, this is not gonna be good. And so the dog ran up on her basically and was barking and then sniffing her. And so, and she actually did very good. She just stood next to me. I had her on the leash, like I said, so she couldn't really run away if she wanted to, but she kind of just took one step back and was like, what the heck's happening? And she stood next to me stayed next to me the whole time and then while the dog was like barking and sniffing her she just like stood there smelling the dog but just like stood her ground and just stood there didn't growl didn't bark nothing and i think the dog's owner was scared that she was going to eat the dog because of you know the size difference and sage also does not look super friendly so he was like scared and like ran out and was like oh i'm so sorry and i was like it's fine and sage was literally just standing there and so she is trying to eat my hair. Lo and behold, the guy got the dog and we just kept walking, but I was very proud of her because that's like one of the first situations Sage has had where that's happened and she actually handled it very, very well. And yeah, guys, that's how I wanted to start off today's video. But for today, I'm not really sure what this vlog or video will entail. I currently am home alone with Sage. It is 11 p.m. And I work tomorrow night, so I'm gonna be staying up until likely like eight in the morning. Um, so we will see where the day takes us. Right now, we just broke down a bunch of boxes, took out the trash and recycling, because tomorrow is when the trash comes in our neighborhood. And we're gonna see what else we do. Let me show you something I just did too right now. So we have a lot of stuff for Sage. And one thing that I hate that Jonathan does is that I literally, okay, so before, I even put stuff in bins in our pantry. It was just disorganized. All of Sage's stuff was everywhere. So every time we try to get something, like it would be a whole struggle to like go through everything to figure out where what we wanted was. And so then I bought bins. Let me show you the bins. I bought these bins to organize all her stuff, right? So I, I did that, I organized it all and then give it a week. And when John gets things, he just takes them out, leaves them out or just puts them in random spots. And I'm like, bro, there was literally an organization process to this so that we can find her stuff and it looks nice and organized and not like a little mess where just everything was thrown together. So today I got more bins from Amazon and they got here. So I reorganized all of Sage's stuff and look how nice this looks now. So in this bin right here, we've had this one. This is where all her toys are. We have her little puzzle thing that we honestly haven't used in a while and her button for the little toy receiver thing. So that's all her toys. Here is all her supplements, her like tick medication, flea medication, heartworms, all that good stuff and her hair oil or her song, or fish oil that is good for her coat that we put in her food. So that's kind of like all her supplement type things. This literally is a giant bin full of her treats because we buy this girl way too many treats and they get left everywhere up here and it just is annoying. So I got this giant bin, put all her treats in there. This one's also very full as you can tell. It's full of all of her leashes, all of her collars, 
and anything walk related so the fanny pack where we put her treats when we walk cars in there but everything walk related is there then in this bin right here we have her shoes her shampoo conditioner brushes other miscellaneous stuff like spray to make her smell good but balm for the palms of her feet or her paws when she walks this thing that john had me order months ago it's supposed to be like a cup where you put their paw in it and that way when they go outside and get dirty instead of having to wipe their paws you just fill it with a little water and like put their paw inside of it and shake it and it cleans their paw never used it because she was scared of it and yeah so now it looks so much better this entire shelf is just sage's goodies over here we have some diapers in case you know the time of the month comes for her um she's about to be six months in a couple days so should be sometime soon and then yeah this is basically all we have for her this is massive and just goes to show you how many treats we buy for sage but what i got on amazon today was these bins they came with four of these and then four of these smaller ones and then two of these ones and so i just use this one to organize all of our like essential oils but yeah it was such a good deal i honestly let me check on my phone actually how much this was because i was shocked when i saw the price on it because when i had originally gone to get the first set of bins i got it was like tj maxx or something which is honestly cheaper than like target or stuff like that and let me tell you two of those bins were like 20 bucks so needless to say i was like mm maybe not so let me take a look for you guys and show you okay so it was a set of 10 and it was only 24 dollars. you see this i'll leave this link down below in case anyone's interested it actually it came really fast and it actually is like the same exact quality acrylic bins like this one's actually the one i got at tj maxx you could see it's just a bigger version of this these are the ones I got. They're literally the exact same. They have the exact same ribbed bottom. These are just huge, obviously, and these are smaller, but they did have some of these bigger ones. I just needed something smaller because we have a lot of stuff for her, but it's like different categories, and so I wanted to organize it by categories, but anyway, long story short, I reorganized everything, and I'm hoping it will stay organized because if not, I'm going to be very annoyed because I keep organizing it and it keeps getting disorganized and then it becomes a mess and it's like a struggle to get it reorganized. But anyways, as you can see, she's over here, half sleeping, half bored. She has her toy collection down here. She's starting to like this bone so much more than when we first got it to her. If you remember her bark box opening, as you can see, she figured out she can unfold this to show the movie. And this has become one of her favorite toys and she's starting to rip it up. Also, guys, this is a kong stick like this is such hard plastic you can like barely bend it look what she's been doing do you see that do you see those teeth marks oh here she comes to show you guys how she does it she's been ripping it literally ripping it also her tires one of her new favorite toys but sage is such a, a little chewer and she is in that phase where she's like losing her teeth i think she's done losing them now but she basically loves anything that's like hard and rubber and that's her favorite toy now. But like I said, I'm not sure where this vlog will take us, but I will catch you guys whenever I do something semi fun or entertaining next. It's many, many hours later. It's about to be 5 a.m. But guess what? Sage is officially six months today. Yeah, you're officially six months, Sage. Today, you officially became six months exactly today. How do you feel? How do you feel to be six months, huh? Are you excited? <gasps> oh, you're sad because you're getting bigger? Well, guess what, guys? We're gonna give her a couple extra treats today for her little six months. And when John gets here in a couple of minutes, I'm gonna record for you guys so you can see all of the tricks that this smart little baby knows, okay? So see you guys soon. Look at the good girl waiting for her food, guys. I just put some kibble and a couple treats because it's her half birthday. Watch this. She only knows how to go for the right word. Sage, jump, bounce, rain, rumble, Rick, release. <laughs> good girl. Anyways, 
She's gonna eat her breakfast and then, or her dinner, I guess. And then we will show you guys all of her tricks. As the time you've all been waiting for, we are going to train this little munchkin. It's her six months today. Let's see if she got smarter overnight. Sage, sit. Good girl. Down. Good girl. Paw. Give me your paw. Paw. Good girl. Sage, speak. <laughs> speak. Good girl. Guys, I don't know why every time we tell her to speak, it's like she loses her voice and she just goes, and then 20 minutes later, a bark comes out. Sage, guard. Sit. Normally she sits in the guard position. Sage, guard. Good girl. Sage, play pen. <laughs> Sage, play pen. You don't know what the play pen is. You just went in there, baby. Sage, play pen. Yes, good girl. Sage, go to your place. Girl, why'd you close your cage? Sage cage. She's running, guys. She wants that treat. Good girl. Here you go. All right. Sage, touch, touch, touch. Good girl. Sage, speak. Speak. Sage you down. Yes. Stay. You stay there. She's a runner. She's a track star. Good girl. What else can we make you do, Sage? Heel. She said, how about I go get that street filled Kong? There's nothing in there. Say, heel. She's really fighting for that street. <laughs> we're gonna heel all the way. Hey, we're gonna heel all the way around the kitchen. And then you can have your treat. <laughs> Good girl, sit. Why don't you go ahead and sit down for me? Good girl. What else can we make you do? Them? No, just do it. You could do them, do the tricks, but do them without saying nothing. Just do them with the, with your hands. Oh yeah, guys, I haven't done this in a while. Say. <laughs> no, I want your other foot. I want your other foot. I want the other foot. Touch it. I usually touch it. Yeah. Oh, girl, shake it, shake it. oh I forgot to show you guys up. Do it. Leave it. Do it. Leave it though. Leave it. Good girl. Okay, Sage. She spit it out. Come here. Good, Good girl. girl. Oh, don't hurt yourself. You're okay. Good girl. I think she didn't want to do it because of the blankets. Mm -hmm. Anyways, guys, as you okay. can see, she's a smart little pup. She's a crazy little pup, but she's she's pretty smart and she's following me now because she thinks she's gonna get more treats. That was it. You did good, girl. Give me a high five. Good girl. That's a good girl. Guess how much she weighs, guys. Look at her from the side. She's six months. Guess how much she weighs. You guess? Y'all guess yet? Well, guess what? How much does she weigh? 68 pounds. 68.5. 68 pounds. 68.5. I, I weighed her a couple of days ago. Like She's four almost... or five days ago. She's almost 70 pounds. Yeah. That's crazy. You crazy, girl. She's going to be 100 by like nine months, I think. And she said, and, and what? I'm going to keep eating, bro. Look, guys, she stole she's this ball like from eight, me. She's getting eight pounds. Look at this, guys. I stole that. I took that ball out of um the container to put it away when I was organizing. And she stole it. You like that, Sage? You're a chunky little monkey. Look at your big belly. 
Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully, you enjoyed um, us showing you how we train Sage in our little organization of the pantry moment. And let us know what videos you want to see. And like always, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Send this video to your grandma, your grandpa, your mom, your sister, your brother, your cousins, your uncles, your mistress, your mans. Send it to... Send it to everybody, guys, and guys, we will she see hasn't you. Done a catch. Let's see if she could do one right now. Ready? <laughs> she got it in the face. So and we will see you in the next video. Let's try one more time. Ready, Sage? Ready? Nah, she's still a little slow on it.